through. I'm pretty well, sure I it do. Is. Let me check. Okay. It's on. Go. Go. Hey there, Wildcat friends. Get ready to pounce into the latest scape with your latest with. <laughs> the latest scoop with your favorite feline friends. It's time for the Wildcat News. Alright, Lori right, Cafeteria, we've got the inside scoop on the coolest lunch ever. Here is Charlie and Bria with some delicious, I can't, I can't see, news about the Wildcat Cafe. Three, two, one. Hello Wildcats, I'm Charlie and this is Brielle and today we're here with our Wildcat Cafe lunch. Today we have pizza and deli sandwich. And on the 19th we have nachos and a bean and cheese burrito. And uh, on Wednesday we have a meatball salad and deli sandwich. On the 21st we have a chicken patty and a chicken rice bowl. And on Friday we have no, no school! school! Stay tuned for a wildlife spotlight on Get to Know You Monday. Here's Audrey with Get to Know You Monday. Hello and welcome to Get to Know You Monday. Today I am here with Julia and Audrey, myself. Um, so what grade are you in? Third. And class, Miss Monty, Miss Monty. So I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions. And the first one is, what was, what, what's your favorite memory from last year? Uh, probably field day. Field day. That was pretty fun. What do you want to do when you grow up? Uh, I want to be a teacher. Okay. Um, what makes you happy? Uh, whenever I run around, run around with my dog or jump on the trampoline with my sister. That's fun. I'm Audrey, and this is Julia, and that's Get to Know You Monday. Thank you, Audrey. <laughs> and in Around the World with Wildcats, we'll journey to different places, explore new culture, and discover facts from all sorts of places. Now let's hear, let's hear from Brielle with some trivia. Is it on? Penelope, is it on? I think so. Let me check. Bella, is it on? I, I think so. It's on. Oh, it's on. Okay, it's on. Okay, it's on. Okay, it's on. Okay. What? Hello, Wildcats. I am Brielle, and this is Hannah. <laughs> From our we are here with this Monday's trivia. This week's winners are Miss Dorenzo's class. The class came in. Closest to the question, what do you call a group of giraffes? The answer was a tower. This week's trivia question is, what birds have a special relationship with wolves? I wonder. Do you? No. Yeah, I wonder. No. Yeah. Bye, Wildcats. Bye. Thank you, Brielle. Have you ever wondered what your teachers do after school? They'll take you behind the scenes and showcase their hidden talents. You won't believe what tricks they got up their sleeves. Good morning, Wildcats. Welcome, welcome. I don't know what you're called. Welcome to interviewing the teacher. Or no, be like, good morning, Wildcats. Today we will be interviewing this one. Good morning, Wildcats. Okay. Today I got seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Wildcat. Good morning, Wildcats. And now here's Ella and Char Ella Sue and Charlotte to give you the scoop on what Mother Nature has in store for us. Hello, I'm Charlotte and this is my partner, Ella Sue. And we're here with your weather for the week. On Monday, we it will be mostly sunny with a high of 83 and a low of 55. On Tuesday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 83 and a low of 53. On Wednesday, it'll be mostly sunny with a high of 80 and a low of 51. On Thursday, it'll be mostly sunny with a high of 74 and a low of 46. 
On Friday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 66 and a low of 45. On Saturday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 71 and a low of 47. That was your weather for the week. Happy Monday, Wildcats. Welcome back. Hope you had an awesome weekend. Today's word of the week is chartreuse. It's a bright yellow-green color. According to legend, the color chartreuse is named for a bright green drink created by a 16th century alchemist who promised good health and long life to those who drank it. Ooh, who out there would drink somebody's chartreuse drink just because they told you it was good for you? The answer is nobody. Never do that. Also, I learned so much about quite a few of you this week, um, and that there's many of you who love to crochet or have family members who crochet, and I know we're all working on our goals in Leader and Me and our, our wildly important goals, and mine, one of mine this year, is going to be to learn how to crochet a hat by May. Um, so I'd love for you to share with me some of your wildly important goals as well. A couple of reminders for the week. We have no school on Friday because it's a teacher professional development day. And in a couple of weeks, we have a book fair coming up. So make sure to let your parents know about that um, so you can get yourself some awesome books. Have a wonderful week and go Wildcats. Hello, my name is Eli. And tomorrow, Tuesday the 19th, join us at Chick-fil-A for PTO Spirit Night. See you there. Thank you. Ella and Sh Ella Sue and Charlotte. Remember, Wildcats, every paw print tells a story. Stay curious and keep exploring. Until next time, keep those tails wagging and those minds meowing. Goodbye! Can I tell you a joke, guys? Yeah! Um, what is blue when it's not heavy? What? Light, Light blue. <laughs> That's a good Welcome to the Croc Superstore. And today we're interviewing a Croc specialist, Abby. Abby, do you think Crocs should be worn with socks? Never, ever, ever. Abby, what's your favorite color of Crocs? Yellow, purple, any color. <coughs> Abby, how do you feel about Crocs having holes in them? I feel so sad. I feel abandoned. This is Abby, a Crocs professionalist, and we're outside of the Crocs Superstore. Make sure to check out the new Crocs. Don't take your shoes off. Crocs! Crocs! <laughs> <Shrugs. laughs>